What's up everybody, this is Danny, and welcome to another episode of Ultimate Smart Home, and today I want to focus on building your dream smart home with Nest. If you're looking at smart home or home automation products, you should be familiar with Nest. They make very solid products that are easy to set up and use. So I had this crazy idea. What if I took all the Nest products that are out right now and put them into one video and make it a guide for people that are interested in Nest? So I reached out to Nest, they were totally down with it, so they sponsored this episode to make this happen. This is gonna be epic. What most people don't know is that Nest is not just a product, it's a platform, so of course the integration between the products is gonna be great, but it may tie in some of the existing smart home products that you already own. We'll take a look at the product that started this whole thing, the Nest thermostat, the Nest Protect smoke alarms, but let's start with the cameras focusing on the brand new Nest Cam IQ, and then I'll show you how everything ties together. Making a decision on a smart security camera right now is very difficult. There's so many on the market right now, but there are a few things that make the new Nest Cam IQ special. First, you wanna have the best image possible when you're talking indoor security, and the Nest Cam IQ uses a 4K sensor with HDR imaging, so it's able to capture a ton of detail, then it encodes it down to a very crispy 1080p that you can quickly stream. The Nest Cam IQ can live stream 24 seven with a wide 130 degree field of view, so I can get my entire kitchen, living room, and back door with just one camera. And HDR is really important because no matter how uneven the lighting is with shadows and bright lighting from the back door, it still looks great. The night vision on this camera is also legit with two 940 nanometer infrared LEDs, so the kitchen is fully illuminated and the quality is on point. I think the best thing about this camera is that it recognizes the people in your home. It actually recognizes faces. In the first few days of use, the camera will ask you, are these faces familiar to you? And if there's someone in the house that shouldn't be there, the IQ is gonna tell you that. This is obviously great for letting you know about the people that shouldn't be in your home, but this is also awesome for letting you know if a loved one or family member comes back home. It doesn't stop there though. The Nest Cam IQ recognizes doors and entry points so you can get a notification when a door is open or entered and uses this awesome thing called Super Sight where it zooms in on the activity and follows it so you can clearly see what's going on. Look at how far you can zoom in. It's a 12 times digital zoom so I can easily make out faces due to the high resolution 4K sensor that's built into the camera and there's even a enhanced feature that makes the image clearer when you zoom in. I also like the fact that the IQ can distinguish between a person and an object, so you're only gonna get notifications that matter, and then when you get a notification of something that shouldn't be going on. You can use the HD talk and listen feature. The speakers are seven times louder than the original Nest Indoor Cam. The audio is very clear and impressive with the echo cancellation and noise suppression. All of your footage is uploaded securely in the cloud with encryption and the option for two-step authentication so you can access this footage from anywhere. And most importantly, if your camera gets stolen, you still have access to the footage. Three hours of snapshots are included for free, but you will need a Nest Aware subscription to get either a 10 or 30 day video history. The Nest IQ camera is easy to install and set up yourself. Like the other Nest products I'm gonna show you today, just scan with the app, plug it in and follow the prompts. If anything is wrong or you lose connection, the light ring around the camera will let you know. It has a swivel on it so you can put it anywhere in your house and you can angle it however you want it, but I have mine just on a flat surface so you can do that too. The Nest Cam IQ is not meant to replace the older Nest Cam indoor, so these are still available. They can be a cheaper option. You still get up to a 1080p stream with the same wide angle view motion and sound alerts with 24 seven available streaming, but you will be missing out on that crazy super sight zoom. You still get talk and listen, but the Nest Cam IQ has the louder and clearer HD talk and listen. The Nest Cam IQ also has a higher resolution image with HDR and familiar faces. On the Nest Cam IQ, you get person alerts free, but on the Nest Cam indoor, you will need a Nest Aware subscription to enable that feature. If you don't need all those advanced features, then the Nest Cam Indoor could be a great choice for you to get started. If you need an outdoor solution, Nest also has you covered with the, you guessed it, the Nest Cam Outdoor. It's a nice small compact package that is weather sealed so it doesn't matter if it gets wet and has most of the features that you've already seen with 1080p video, 24-7 streaming abilities, 8x zoom, 2-way audio, and alerts to your phone. The setup and installation is just as easy, but you will need a power source for this camera to work like the indoor cameras. 
I hope to see a wireless solution from Nest very soon, but the advantage of this is that you can stream 24 seven without running out of battery. The most popular product that Nest makes is the Nest thermostat. It's currently in the third generation already, and it's available in four colors. And I have the copper one here installed in my home, and it's gorgeous. In my opinion, the Nest thermostat is the best design and best looking thermostat out there, built extremely well and looks so clean on the wall with a very easy scroll wheel mechanism and click navigation. I wish I was able to put my unit directly on the wall, but the installers on the previous thermostat decided to leave giant holes in the wall, so I had to use this plate, but it still looks nice. You can control the temperature directly through the app or you can control it by voice, which I'll show you later, and it learns your energy habits and it programs itself to save you money. It starts to learn your schedule, so if you turn down the AC at night and you like it cooler, but then if you go to work, you turn up the temperature, just in a few days, it starts to learn that and it starts acting on it and it just does it by itself. I also love the fact that it turns off the display when you leave, but as soon as you walk up to it, the thermostat turns right back on. Being able to control your thermostat from anywhere is an awesome thing because let's just say you had some unexpected cold weather come through, you can just pull out your phone, change that temperature before you get home so when you step in, you're nice and comfortable. The last product is the Nest Protect, which is a smart smoke detector that is low key but useful in a lot of ways. First, it takes the guesswork out of the maintenance because the Protect self-tests every day and you will never get one of those annoying chirps in the middle of the night I hate those things. Smack that like button if you hate those random chirps. It also detects carbon monoxide so that it's so important for people with gas furnaces and stoves. And what I like is if you have multiple protects in the home, the built-in speakers are gonna let you know exactly where the problem is. So let's say that you're sleeping upstairs in the master bedroom and there's smoke downstairs, then the protect will tell you exactly where that problem is. So no guessing where the alarm's coming from. When you turn out your lights at night, a green glow tells you that everything is good with the Protect, and when you walk underneath it, you can have it act as a path light or a night light. All of the Nest products can stand alone, so if you're only interested in one of the products, they work great by themselves, but what's awesome is how well they work together and how good they work with other existing smart home products that you may already own. First, you can control or access the products on either Google Home or Amazon Echo. I have the Echo Show right here, and I can control the thermostat and access the cameras just by voice. Check this out. Alexa, show me my kitchen. Okay, getting the kitchen camera. Alexa, change the temperature in the house to 74 degrees. Setting house AC to 74. If you want to just use your smartphone or tablet, that's okay. It'll work across Android or iOS, and it's right here in one app. It's easy to control, but let's say that you leave your home. You can set it to where the Nest products recognize that you're away, and the cameras are smart enough to start your notifications. The thermostat uses your away settings to conserve energy, and it can work with your smart door locks to let you know who is home. I own a sleep number bed and the Nest thermostat can determine what the best temperature is for me to get optimal sleep. Nest can work with my smart lights like my LifeX bulbs to enhance the notifications if there is smoke in the house. This is a very underrated feature, especially for the hearing impaired where they might not be able to hear the alarm, but they can visualize it. If there's carbon monoxide detected in the home, Nest thermostat can automatically shut down the furnace or turn off your system for safety. And also if there is smoke detected, the Nest Protect can tell the Nest thermostat to turn off the fans so it doesn't spread fire or smoke throughout the house. This is not all of it. This is just scratching the surface. They're adding new partnerships every day. And this is all in one app without you even thinking about it. The biggest misconception or fear that I'm hearing from the people that I talk to about Smart Home is that Smart Home is complicated. It's not. It's getting so much easier with companies like Nest. So check out their products. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below or hit me up on social media. I'm the most active on Twitter. And make sure you smack that like button if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy more Smart Home stuff on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.